In this video, I explain the concept of elasticities, why they're important, and why economists use them so much. Uh, so, what is an elasticity? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and start with the formula for an elasticity. An elasticity is a percent change in quantity over a percent change in parameter. Now, I'm using this funky P to indicate that we can think about different parameters, and these parameters can be different things, like, for example, we might think that income is a parameter. We might think that the price of good x, here I'm going to go ahead and put an x here, is a parameter. We might think that some other price, say the price of good y, is a parameter. We might think that someone's wage is a parameter. We might think that something like uh, the relative price is a parameter. And so on and so forth. As we change those by just one percentage, this elasticity tells us how quantity changes as a percentage. And so we can think about elasticities as a numerical measure of the responsiveness of quantity to changes in the parameter that we're currently interested in. percentage change in the quantity demanded over the percentage change in its own price. So I'm going to call this good one, and that's going to be price of good one. And so we can see that if we change the, uh, if we change the price, or increase the price by 1%, the elasticity of demand tells us by how much the quantity demanded well, would decrease, because the law of demand tells us that this is going to be a negative number. So, for example, if the elasticity of demand is negative 2, and we know that the price change here, let's pick something that's kind of interesting, let's say the percentage increase in price was 5%, we could go ahead and use this elasticity as a way to figure out how much did quantity decrease as a percentage. Well, we can go ahead and plug into this formula. We can see that will be the percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in price. That's just going to equal the quantity demanded. And as you can see, this quantity, percentage change in quantity demanded would be negative 10%. The negative means that as we increase price, it's going to be decreasing. And so we can actually figure out, if we know what the level of the quantity was before, what the absolute change is. But this is a nice relative change. It gives us some perspective. Good rule of thumb, if you're dealing with elasticities of demand, or for that matter, supply, is that if the magnitude is bigger than 1, it's elastic. That is, you can take a smaller change in a price and get a bigger change in the quantity in percentage terms. So that's elastic. If it's between 0 and 1, it's what we call inelastic. You'd have to have big changes in the price to get corresponding changes in quantity. It has to be a bigger change in the price than the quantity. Now, of course, if we were to do the elasticity of supply, the elasticity of supply would just be how the quantity supplied changes as we change the market price for that own good. But notice we don't just have to do elasticity of demand or elasticity of supply. Let's ask ourselves how the quantity of x changes, so we'll call this eta x, as we change income. We can ask ourselves what happens to the quantity demanded if we increase income by a particular percentage. Now this will be what we call our income elasticity. Now notice that if income increases and the quantity also increases, 
that will tell us that this is what we call a normal good. If this number is a negative number, that would be an inferior good. An inferior good is a good for which if your income goes up, you actually buy less of it.